Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, XRP up, all our crypto doing really well today. Good news is I've got Sensei Crypto looking at the charts on the phone with us. Uh, we're going to go to him right now. Just let everyone know, in my opinion, why this is going up, why all Bitcoin, Bitcoin, XRP, all our uh, Matic for me, uh, AI, Tesla, all going up is because of the explosion and the great news that we've got this morning with the jobs report. Really great. Now you're seeing a little dip now we're going to get profit taking. I don't see this going down. Uh, I see it going back up again very quickly. Let's watch it. But um, just as we prepare to keep our eye on that, I'm going to go straight over now to Sensei Crypto, who is live on the phone. Sensei, good, uh, good morning, good afternoon to you. How are you today? I'm doing very well, Martin. What an exciting day today. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> is it indeed? What a great day, Sensei. Tell me all about it from a, from a chart point of view, why everything's moving, what's going on today? So specifically with XRP, we've been um, tracking this horizontal trend line. Uh, it's more of just a long-term trend line to show that we're putting in lower highs. Uh, it's not an exact one, but lower highs, lower, um, sorry, higher lows, basically all this time, higher lows. And now we're in another higher low and we've got this bounce. Uh, purely from the chart perspective, we are breaking the, the important 53 cent level. The next level is back to this 60 cent level. Um, depending whether or not this Bitcoin ETF gets approved, um, we could be seeing this um, uh, pushing back to that sort of 80 cent region within wow. the next couple months. We really need to see what the news is. And if I can share with you the news um, on the crypto side of things, um, I can quickly do that for you. So breaking news is um, the Grayscale um, Bitcoin Trust, the Grayscale company who who holds Bitcoin for um, clients has um, been trying to get this ETF approved for a very long time. Um, SEC, Gary Ginsler keep pushing back in. But today, um, 20 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, we got the news that Grayscale got approval to launch the first Bitcoin ETF in the US. Um, a, a watershed moment in the cryptocurrency um, industry quest to tap billions of dollars from everyday investors. That means Bitcoin ETF will be on the stock market. Um, it's, it's different to the futures ETF. This means that um, if you buy the Bitcoin ETF, the, the company will buy um, spot Bitcoin, hold it. Um, there is conflicting news. I just want to make sure it's correct. I don't know if this means they've got approval to launch it. Bloomberg Crypto is reporting that. However, there is um, just news that they've just won the, the court case. Um, so Grayscale wins its lawsuit over the SEC about converting its fund to a spot Bitcoin ETF. This hasn't happened yet. They have won the law case, but there is no... Um, approved filings of this ETF yet. They haven't gone through the proper approval process yet. Um, so that's just to be wary of. Um, but it's, it's massive news. If this comes out, it's, it's, it's a massive blow against the SEC. It's a massive blow against Gary Ginsler. The, as we saw a couple months ago with what we were looking at with the uh, Ripple case, um, they Ripple won their case against um, the SEC. And this is another one that says the courts have spoken between Ripple winning their suit and now the Green School winning their suit, Gary Ginslow and the SEC look like absolute clowns, which I definitely agree on. So this is very important. <laughs> you stuff. enjoy that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Gary Ginsler is, is really um, not helping innovation in the US. Uh, the US is, has always been on top of these things and, and, and the SEC is really making it hard for crypto to be part of that. Um, so it's, it's very good to see this. Um, and this is just another one that says the court has found that the SEC has not properly explained its decision to reject Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF. So it's forcing the SEC to reconsider the application and to make a new decision on whether it's approved or rejected. So I just do want to make this clear. It's not. There's a lot of sources, even Bloomberg Crypto, is saying that that means the ETF is approved. It is not approved yet. They the, the court has forced the SEC to reconsider its application. That's what I've seen from the court rulings. So, but it, this is massive news. I mean, if they're telling them to reconsider, uh, there, there's 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 only way, one way to reconsider, and that's basically to approve it.